Hi, my name is uh, Shlomo Solomon. I'm the manager here at Joseph Project. This is uh, our friend Shmuel, one of our uh, directors. Want to tell us about the group that was here today? Yes, uh, I'm blessed to be on the board uh, here at the Joseph Project. I lead a discipleship program of young adults after the army. And one of the things we want to teach them is to serve. And it's a blessing to work together with the Joseph Project and be here and volunteer and serve here to see uh, the work they're doing. So what we had here today was a group of almost 30 volunteers and we received a big donation of clothing for children and young women mostly. This is a donation from a local corporation. They gave it to us, but then we have a lot of work to do sorting the goods before we can give it out. So for you who help and support us here to understand the work that we're doing and how you are making a difference here in Israel, I just want to thank you and blessings from Israel. I knew there is a different kind of clothes to, to women, to, to men and to children. So, but I didn't expect to see this kind of a space, and it's a big space. So, really thank you for the Joseph Project, really thank you, and Shalom from Israel. When you organize things and just move it from place to place, and it just, I like it, it's fun for me. Thank you Joseph Project, it's been amazing, and I hope I can come again. And thank you Project Joseph for helping us here and giving us the opportunity to be here. And that's it, thank you. Joseph Project has been up and running for 20 years now. The traditional operation of Joseph Project was importing containers from uh, Israel-loving Christians from around the world. These containers full of goods, basically, if you donate kind of a one dollar to Joseph Project, we're able to uh, receive donations of goods and donate in value 10 times as much. We can also receive donations of goods locally. So we have a whole operation that we've launched and it's been very successful. Um, we're getting stuff straight from the industry now. I won't name any names, but big companies, high tech companies that everybody knows all over the world, their branches in Israel have been donating. Uh, if they move offices or they downsize or, or anything. So you have some hotels that are giving us their used beds. You have uh, big offices donating their high class, um, min condition even chairs and tables. Another uh, major operation that we have embarked on, which we've done in the past, I believe in the second Lebanon war in 2006, our uh, truck driver who still works with us, his name is Michael, um, him and Vladimir, who have been working with us both for 15 and 20 years, they got in the truck and they drove up north and they were, I think, 60, 60 meters from a rocket that almost that almost hit them. And then, and then more recently with the COVID-19 uh, circumstances, which are unique as an emergency, we've done more than we've ever done during this time. We are called to be an organization that helps during emergency. We're waiting for the funds. We have the program, we have the knowledge, we have the framework. We are waiting for the partners, the sponsors, the funding so that we can launch new campaigns um, to invest in training the country and training the people. It's basically an area that has been overlooked. And so it's our job as a nonprofit to identify something that is really lacking or something that needs to be done and then fill that void and be kind of the spearhead Also what we've been doing the last couple of years is very exciting, it puts us really inside the field more. We have all sorts of tips and donations from local donors within Israel. So sometimes it's a shop that shuts down or has surplus. And often we have hotels as well, which is where we are today, who are, uh, they're renovating or they're switching their stock or something. And they invited us to pick up whatever we want because they have nothing to do with it and they need uh, the labor and people to come and get the stuff out. So we're in touch with all sorts of nonprofits who have all sorts of needs that are relevant. We connect with them, we bring them here, we have our truck here. What is really special here today, which doesn't happen every day, is when we have a pickup that is literally overlooking the old city of Jerusalem. So this is just kind of a special, a special moment and a special feeling. I think it speaks more of, of where we're at and the type of impact that we believe we are making.
Hello, good morning. We are here in Kibbutz Merhave in Absorption Center for the new immigrants. We have 37 family of immigrants, repatriates from Russia, Ukraine, Moldavia, and Belarus. So thank you very much for all kind of nice things that we get today. It will help us and for our people. Thank you for the Joseph project. Thank you very much. We really deeply are grateful for all the people who have, who have invested in this operation so far. And we are very grateful for all the people who are hearing this and will invest in us in the future. We truly believe in what we're doing and we believe in the direction that we're headed in. Especially thankful for those who are giving and for those who are believing what we believe in and investing in us to do what we feel we're called to do. It's very meaningful. This beautiful vehicle behind me Volkswagen Crafter. It gives us the ability to work simultaneously with two teams. We have our big truck and then we have this very large van. We can now do a much greater scope of work with these two vehicles. It's a huge blessing. We're super grateful for the donor who came out of nowhere and just paid for the whole thing. We can work much more efficiently because sometimes we only need the smaller vehicle and we need to be working with two teams at the same time. So it, it actually gives us more flexibility and efficiency. Good